This guy whips up two plates of stir-fried shredded potatoes, and the next thing you know, these three five-star chefs are completely blown away. They're like, wow, this is amazing. How can something so simple taste this good? They couldn't believe a young guy could pull off such a dish. The CEO, who was watching, wasn't convinced, so she decided to give it a try. As soon as she took a bite, she was like, I'll pay you $3 million for the patent. The guy, totally shocked, was thinking, are they serious? Little did he know, he just set the culinary world back by 3,000 years. Earlier that day, while delivering ingredients to the restaurant, the guy had caught his girlfriend fooling around with some rich dude in the kitchen. Curious, he confronted her, but the rich guy knocked him down. Out of nowhere, he activated some crazy culinary system that sent the food world back thousands of years. Suddenly, even the simplest dishes, like fried rice, were unbeatable, and only this guy's cooking skills remained the same. When he came to, his boss called, telling him to hurry up and deliver the ingredients. Once he got to the restaurant, he overheard the female CEO tasting some new dishes, stuff like seafood dumplings, pig intestines, and boiled potatoes. The CEO thought the chefs were messing with her because the ingredients seemed too cheap. But the chefs explained that they had spent three years perfecting these dishes. The guy couldn't help but laugh, saying those dishes weren't even as good as what he used to make for his ex-girlfriend. The chefs were not impressed. They told him that if he couldn't cook something better today, he wouldn't be leaving the restaurant. With no way out, the guy grabbed some potatoes and started peeling them. The chefs were dumbfounded, who peels potatoes before cooking? They thought he was wasting perfectly good ingredients. The CEO figured he was just some delivery guy who didn't know what he was doing. But then, the guy stir-fried the shredded potatoes in an iron pan, and in just a minute, the dish was done. Even though it didn't have all the flashy techniques the chefs used, the simple sweet and sour shredded potatoes blew everyone away. The CEO was so impressed that she offered him $3 million for the patent and another $10 million if he would compete in a culinary contest for her restaurant. The guy, who really only knew how to make home-cooked dishes, wasn't sure he had the skills to compete. But the CEO sweetened the deal, saying that if he helped her win, she'd not only give him the restaurant, but also marry him. Tempted by the offer, the guy agreed. But when they arrived at the competition, he was shocked to see his ex-girlfriend and the rich guy there too. The rich guy immediately started mocking him, saying a delivery guy had no place in the competition. Luckily, the CEO stepped in and proudly introduced him as her restaurant's representative. The competition started, and each contestant picked a dish. The top three contestants chose dishes with difficulty levels over 200, which made the guy nervous. He was just a delivery guy, how could he compete? He spotted fried rice among the remaining options and felt a bit relieved, so he chose that one. But to his surprise, it turned out that fried rice had a difficulty level of 999. No one had dared to make it for 10 years because it was unbeatable. Now, he had no choice but to cook the dish. After the judges tasted the top three contestants' dishes, they were all impressed, especially with the third contestant's dish, which looked like it was going to win. The guy hesitated, nervous about presenting his fried rice. As the judges raised their golden hammers to make their final decisions, a golden light suddenly radiated from his fried rice, leaving everyone in the room stunned.